Hello everybody, Jelsa Farmer here and welcome back to the channel. So for this video, uh, I got inspired by another YouTuber, a great YouTuber called Driver53. Go and check him out. He did a video on his top 17 uh, mods that he always brings with him on maps. And I thought, well, I'm going to do the same. It's not to, you know, copy Driver53, but, uh, you know, we all have our favorite mods. So, yeah, I'm going to show my 17 uh, favorite mods. And I give the challenge over to you guys to show your 17 favorite mods that you always bring with you. So, first one uh, here, this is the fan favorite 51X. Uh, I have a couple of tractors that I'm going to show. This is the first one. The reason why I really like this one is firstly about it's really cheap. You just have to remember um, to change the color on it. Uh, it has 195 horsepower. It is a small tractor. You get a front PTO and all the three point link. You got a front lifter. And you can even have it with these dual narrows on the back, which I really like. Now, I'm not going to show you uh, all the mods in the mod hub. But this one, uh, I need to show you because you need to know about the price. So, in small tractors, you have two different ones. Uh, the difference between these two are only you can get with or without gear shift sound. So I have this one with gear shift sound. So to get it really cheap, you have to go over to main color, press triangle, and then go over from new metal to old metal. And then you can see the price on main color there. It took off 40,000 on, <laughs> on the price. So yeah, uh, just bear in mind that. So that's the only thing about this guy. Whew, this is a really nice one. Uh, next one is also a tractor. Uh, this is pretty new to the game. This is the JCB4220 pack. Uh, the in-game one which we had was one of my favorite. Now this one is a modded version with really <laughs> fat flotation tires. Uh, and you can boost it up to 396 horsepower. Uh, this one also has all the implements that you need PTO front um, front lifter and what it also have is uh, on the back you have this um, oh not saddle pack uh, oh my mind's gone blank now <laughs> let's go ahead <laughs> now this video started great didn't it uh, let's see here we go uh do, 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 do. trailer hitches yeah this one gooseneck <laughs> so you can choose it with gooseneck or not so you can pull gooseneck trailers and there's a lot of uh, color options and what it also comes with uh, since it's a pack it also comes with which seems like an ordinary front loader um the only difference is that this one, uh, you can choose the exact color palette as the tractor. So they fit pretty nice. So that's my two favorite tractors. Moving on, since we are here, we're going to move over to this little fellow. This is a part of the CSZ pack. This is called the Big Bag Lifter. This one uh, will lift more or less everything. <clears throat> if you struggle with pallets or logs, uh, this will do the job for it. And you can even pick it up, he says. There we go. So I'm just going to show you quickly how you can use it. Let's see, where are you? There are you. So there we go, you can see CSZ Big Bag Handler. You will find it under uh, front loaders, but this one also, when, once you download the, the CSZ pack, uh, again, I have to go in here. <laughs> uh, for example, under V loaders, uh, the CSZ pack 
it will also connect to VLoaders. So you also have the same implements there, also the big bag handler and also under telehandlers. So the, I strongly recommend the CSF pack. There are many different and nice implements. So here, for example, I have <laughs> I have silage bales, I have a pallet and an egg box. You can, of course, take all these independently. Now I'm probably not going to connect it, but anyway, let's try it. There we go. So here we can see I have two silage bales, one pallet and an egg box. <laughs> Especially these pallets here are a pain to lift to get the pallet forks in between there. So yeah. So I'm gonna probably gonna use this tractor here uh, in the continuous of this video. So let's move over to the next one. So here we are to the next one. Uh, this is called the Novacat 301 plus X8 Varia. Uh, these are pretty old mowers. Uh, the reason why I really like them is because first of all you can connect them together. So you can have them connected either on the front or on the back. And what you also can do, you see this uh, yellow arrow here, you can change from wide to narrow spot. Now there are other mowers also that can change from wide to, to narrow. I think these are maybe the only one that you can connect together. Um, and on the back here, another mod, this is not a mod in such way, it's a part of a DLC. It's the part of the Quernland Vicon DLC. This is the fast baler which will do round bales and it will also, if you're doing grass, it will do wrapping and it will, um, you know, auto offload so you don't have to stop for every bale. And the great thing about this setup here is that this setup you can also hire a worker. <laughs> so <laughs> let's try it out. It is, it's not live testing. I have done this a couple of times before. I know it's working. Now you can see it's a little bit front heavy. And uh, with all these three implements connected, um, you need a little, you know, you need some horsepower. I think the mowers together is about 150. And the mower, no, the baler itself, it's a hundred horsepower. Now let's see first of all on the mowers, if you can see on the big mower, the yellow line. If I now press L1 and right stick to the side, you can see it's moving. So now it's white spot and now it's narrow spot. So let's do it the same on the front mower. Uh, let's fire up this guy, the baler, and lower the pickup. And what I also like about this um, is when you have them connected like this on the front, uh, if you have the implement on the big mower and lift it up and down, you will lift and raise, or lift and raise, there we go, lift or lower both of the mowers uh, simultaneously. Now if you have the mowers on the back, or one in the back and one in the front, you have to, you know, raise one each, so to speak. So now you see I'm mowing, I'm windrowing, I'm bailing, and I'm wrapping. So let's see when the first bale is coming out. There we go. It is a grass bale, so then he will start to wrap it, and I can press circle, bam, to hire a worker. There we go. Now I could get into trouble here now, because there are so many bales from before. Again, a big thanks to one of my subscribers. Uh, I think, yeah, it was Gorspor that mentioned it first. I made some bales there. Uh, but then I got into the 200 bay limit and that's all because of on this map, on the mod test map, there are a lot of bales already here. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy about this. So yeah, 
we have two bales I'm happy now let's move on to the next one which is also grass related so here we got the next one this is the Vicon P set hay bob 300 tether now this is a personal game changer for me because <laughs> it is an old mod it was released on well 12th of May 2020 but this one is really nice so let's say for example you have lines with grass and you want oh I need some hay then you most likely have to use a tether and then a windrow again this one you can just drive over the wind road um, grasslands and you will get hay straight away uh, but what you can also do together with this mower setup here is let's see let's do like so let's fire all these guys up and do like so um, with these mowers here you can make hay straight away with <laughs> you know the mowers on narrow and you got the hay bob on the back you will get hay lines straight away you know and then if you only want uh, grass then you can turn this guy up and raise it and then you will get grass no I need some more hay okay <laughs> so there we go that's the uh, hay bob which is really a nice one <laughs> So the next one is behind my fence now. This is my favorite uh, auto load trailer for bales. This is called the Lizard Rat 200. This will hold all depend on what you put it on. If you put it on uh, round bales or square bales. If you want them stacked or if you want them no stack. I think the highest capacity is with no stack round bales I think it's 44 bales uh, so I'm just gonna show you here let's see let's put on the help window L1 and square to put it in operating position and it will start I think it I have it on stacked yeah there we go now I've used this on many maps uh, I did the test on this map yesterday and I don't know if it's a mod conflict or something like that or if it's the bales on this map but when I tested this yesterday it picked up both round bales and square bales <laughs> I don't know what happened so I'm let's go ahead and test it let's drive by the big stacks of bales here and see if it pulls up both square bales and round bales it might be something with the bed. Yeah, there we go. So this is not supposed to be happening. <laughs> Maybe also cotton. No, the bale. So yeah, as you see here, uh, it, I think it has something to do with the map or these bales because this is not supposed to be happening. I do apologize to the mother, uh, <laughs> but still, this is my favorite. <laughs> this looks really funny. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite um, auto load trailer. F oh, for oh, God, the oh, man. Uh, so there we go. We need <laughs> it had to happen. <laughs> but anyway, that's the uh, Lizard Rat 200. <laughs> So jumping over to the next one, it's this little fellow here. Of course, I had to implement implement this one. This is the Lizard Frontlifter. This will add a PTO and three point hitch to a vehicle that doesn't have it. It will connect to you know tractors, cars, semi trucks, and even harvesters. You can use this behind some of the harvesters and you know pull the cultivator behind the harvester <laughs> so this one like you know the Fiat 1300 the in-game tractor which doesn't have anything in the front this one will connect to it so there we go now the next one is this guy here this is a part of the Kvernland DLC this is my go-to fertilizer spreader 
It's called the Quinlan TLX Geo Spread. The reason why I really like this one is you can change the spreading width from I think it's 26 all the way up to 45 meter. And yeah, it it holds 3,900 liter with solid fertilizer. I'm used to having this on the back of the tractor and an additionally tank on the front. Uh, I can show you if you haven't seen it. Uh, that's the setup I've always used. So if you put this guy here, the Varda Start FH2200 on the front, which can take uh, fertilizer, and this on the back, you have 6000 liter of fertilizer. Uh, but now I'm gonna test it on the front. On the back I'm gonna put a trailer because, well, a big shout out to Truckomatsi. Truckomatsi? Truckomatsi? I think it is. He's a funny guy. <laughs> He's also a YouTuber. Now he showed this on a video yesterday. Uh, and I'm gonna test it. So I'm gonna move over to the next mod, and which is this one, the Lizard Multi Silo by CNS and Anne Marie. Oh, I just call it the Martha Stewart Silo. <laughs> I think it's the cheapest option for both lime, fertilizer, and seed. It's really cheap. You find it under miscellaneous. <laughs> so let's test it out. This uh, Truckomancy setup. So let's pull up this one we oh maybe the tractor was a little bit small but you know it's just for testing purposes so let's open the cover let's fill this up with fertilizer there we go cover on and now you can see on the back here i can choose between fertilizer lime or seeds so let's put on fertilizer also in the back here not fully because it's gonna be heavy but anyway you can see the capacity you can you know have a big tractor and a really big trailer on the back uh, let's see I need my help window now so uh, let's see where is the spreader oh yeah turn it on there we go so now you can see it's doing what 26 meter uh, and then I can change it Ooh, that's another thing uh, when you have different implements connected how do you change it Truckomancy when you have all these connected let's see let's Disconnect that one. Ooh, that's heavy. You know what? I think I'm gonna need to test this with another tractor. So, there we go. I finally got it to work. Uh, now, it seems to that uh, as long as you have a tractor with a front PTO, it's all good. But with this in between, you cannot change the spread width. So, when I connect it to it now, you can see. I have current working width which is 24 meters and now if you press in L1 and triangle you can change it to 28, 32, 36, 40 and 45 meter. So yeah, the, if you're going really big, have a big tractor with a front PTO and you know you can have a 250,000 liter trailer on the back <laughs> if you are that crazy now can we hire a worker with this one that's the next question when we coming to the end here let's see hire a worker and what i really also like about this uh spreader here oh oh we didn't like that one okay so uh what i really like is when you come to you know uh, feed like this and you only have you know not 45 meters but you can get it down to 26 meter or 32 you can fit you know the remaining size of the field which needs to be fertilized so yeah not worker friendly this uh, trochomancy setup but anyway let's move on 
So, moving on. And uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to show you, I probably mentioned it in the end of the video, some of these mods can be a little bit difficult to find in the mod hub. So I'm going to just show you quickly how you can find it. Uh, moving on to the next one is this one. This is my favorite semi-truck. This is the TLX Phoenix. Uh, this uh, special edition here is called the Silver Bullet. 82 Square Studio, my hat off to you. Uh, he is making a lot of nice mods, and you can get it with a 250,000 liter all bulk, all material um, trailer on the back. So, this one is really nice and it connects to the front lifter, which we have seen. Next one is this guy. This is called the Lizard Milling Machine. This will pick up more or less everything you'll find it on the miscellaneous and yeah if you're scooping out you know grass or hay from the field or you know what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna use it for manure so let's see if we can get this to work <laughs> i've already made a couple of mistakes but you know let's try to they do like so pipe out and then you also need to unfold it, L1 and X, turn it on and lower it. And then I have some manure here somewhere. There we go. Then it's all a matter of driving into the pile of manure or straw or hay or fertilizer or whatever you have on the ground. This guy here will pick it up. Now the only downside with it is that you have to be a little bit uh, careful um, oh I need to take this telephone yeah so uh, sorry about that but uh, this is the issue with the milling machine is that if you have used it for example on uh, manure because this one will contain 95 liter and then if you're going out on the field to pick up uh, you know grass or hay or something you need to be able, you need to empty the milling machine before you use it on another product or else you know you won't be able to pick up anything so then i usually have just a trailer with me another trailer or you know just drive to a cell point or something and empty out the milling machine but there we go that's the TLX Phoenix and the milling machine Next one is this guy here. This is called the Unreal Tree Devourer by Rolly Christie. This one is a great one. This has, for me personally, taken over from the T-Rex 600. This will remove trees in blink of an eye. And you will also keep the, um, not straw, but uh, wood chips. And this will connect to a three-point link. But what you can also do... Let's see if I have it installed now. Ooh. You can also connect it to a front loader. Oh no, I don't have it. Oh, that's the wrong one. <clears throat> there is a connection plate. No, I don't have it now. Aye, aye, aye. But I have made a video on it. Maybe I put the link on the top here. Uh, there is a plate that you can have in between here and then you can connect it to a front loader. To be able to lift it up a little bit more uh, but this one uh, let's see there we go Ryan Christie one unreal tree devour so pipe out and this one you can use uh, let's see there's different ways of using this but as you can see now if I can hit the tree <laughs> It will remove the tree like so. Uh, my tip for removing the stub is to go uh, get the stub on the left side of the tree devourer. Like so. And then it will remove the stub. Now you can also uh, raise and lower this guy here. Uh, let's see. Like so. Lower it and then get rid of the stump then you may have to do it a couple of times like so because it is there are devourers or mulchers also underneath this guy here but me personally I like to have it raised like so 
and there we go sometimes uh, it doesn't take the tree <laughs> uh, oh, there we go oh, this is a perfect mod Jelsa ah, there we go <laughs> so there we go that's the Unreal Tree Devourer by Rolly Christie 1 So, moving on, this is the next one, this is the 110 Crumbler. This is a cultivator, no it's not a 3 meter cultivator, this is a 10 meter cultivator. And the reason why I like this is two things, uh, the price and also the required horsepower. It's 10 meters, it only requires 30 horsepower and the price on it is 11,000. So it's cheap as chips. So the smallest tractor I have is this guy, the uh, Rigitrack electrical one. This has 68 horsepower, I think it is. So yeah, it's a cultivator, it does what it does. Uh, I know we have a lot of other cultivators which are bigger and better. But, you know, for uh, starting equipment, this is my go-to cultivator. <laughs> so there we go, that's the 110 Crumbler. Moving on. So, this one is the next one. This is the case. IH 2150 Early Rise of Planter. This has now become my favorite planter, Cedar. This will do everything. Uh, not only does it both seeds and fertilize and cultivate, uh, this one will do also more or less all crops, all seeds and plants, so to see. Uh, this one, you know, ta have taken over uh, from my other favorite one which is the Great Plains 4025 this one is a little bit uh, more expensive but it's worth it it's 12.2 meters the Great Plains is 12 uh, this one requires 250 horsepower uh, but yeah it's if you have the money and the horsepower for it this is definitely the one for you <laughs> and as you can see now it's on corn and I can make you know more or less everything even cotton wheat barley old canola all those things let's put it on sunflower and listen to this it's like a jet plane starting up and what is also great about this one, if you are on a really big field and you are like me, a little bit impatient, you can press L1 and double tap on X, bang bang, and then you see the speed is increasing from 14 kilometers to, yeah, with this tractor, 34, 35 kilometers an hour. So yeah, this is my go-to seed or planter now, as long as I have the money for it. So there we go, that's the case early rise of planter. And I know that the modder, custom modding, is working with a new version of this one, which is even bigger. So yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> so uh, I think it's the last two ones. Uh, uh, the two last ones are pallets. This is the first one, it's a pack by Quiet Hitman. This is the Lizard Reusable Palettes. Uh, I use especially this guy here for uh, egg boxes and this will contain 4800 liter of eggs and you can pick it up and you can also pick it up when it's fully loaded and if you want to go a trip uh, he says up in the air you can just slide it underneath you no it doesn't work now of course and this is just like a cat it always land on his feet so if you throw it like so it will always <laughs> more or less always land on its feet 
not now of course but anyway that's the uh, reusable uh, palettes by quiet hitman and you find it on the palettes i just want to show you here because there are several different ones you have for uh, you know all crop types you small and big you have liquids and you also have wool of course uh, i don't use the wool anymore because for wool I'm using the this one which is the last one of my favorite mods this is the wool palette by Missy B and this will hold 64,000 liter <laughs> I know it's crazy uh, you can adjust it of course I think it's from 1600 liter and there are many different sizes the the palette size doesn't change uh, so this one is really great if you go big on sheeps. This one you cannot pick up, but of course if you have a front loader and the big bag lifter, it's only a matter of using it like this. Uh, so that's my, I think I've done 17. Uh, probably gonna post something on the screen here if I'm wrong or right. Uh, lastly, I'm gonna show you how you can find the different mods because some of them are a little bit tricky to find, so to speak. So here we are in the main menu and as you can hear, I finally figured out how to turn off the music. <laughs> if you don't know how to do it, you just go down on options here and volume master turn this off this is by default on 50% like so so if you are tired of this music here uh, just go in options <laughs> and turn it off there we go so, so then it's about the uh, finding mods uh, so what I usually do when I go in here I always press L3 twice because now when you go in here it's not always showing all the mods so if you see on the bottom of the screen, uh, press L3, bam, and now it comes up show all mods. So press L3 one more time and then for searching after mods, just press uh, square. There we go. So let's see, you want to find the milling machine, which is a little bit, uh, I don't know what kind of category it is in. Uh, so you can just press in milling and bam there's the milling machine go back you have to press l3 twice here again i hope they fix that for fs22 and let's see let's see if you want to find the wool palette by missy b uh, hopefully this will work uh, ba -ba -ba. Is it one L and one T? Hope, come on, this have to work. Wool palette. There we go. Reusable wool palette because this one also can be a little bit difficult to find, uh, and so on. Uh, so that's my way of finding mods that are, you know, in miscellaneous because. Uh, uh, on the other here, uh, not all of the mods that are a little bit special are here. So yeah, use the search function, uh, turn down the music and you should be good to go. So anyway, that was my top 17, I think, mods, which I always bring with me uh, on all the maps. So I pass on the challenge to you guys, show your top 17 mods which you always have with you and thanks for watching by the way hit that like button subscribe button and notification bells and all those bells and whistles and hopefully i will see you next time so with that bye bye